today we have a bit of an odd one, but I happened to be rereading a favorite passage from a phenomenal book, The Velveteen Rabbit, and it got me strangely thinking sideways about some of the concepts that I talk about on this channel. The rabbit is talking about relationships and the nature of love. But I think there is also a deep commentary on the nature of modernity, the apotheosis of science, and our cultural shift away from away from valuing wisdom and instead valuing mere knowledge. Being only made of velveteen, some of the more expensive toys quite snubbed him. The mechanical toys were very superior. They looked down upon everyone else. They were full of modern ideas and pretended they were real. The model boat, who had lived through two seasons and lost most of his paint, caught the tone from them and never missed an opportunity of referring to his rigging in technical terms. The rabbit could not claim to be a model of anything, for he didn't know that real rabbits existed. He thought they were all stuffed with sawdust like himself, and he understood that sawdust was quite out of date and should never be mentioned in modern circles. Even Timothy, the jointed wooden lion who was made by disabled soldiers and should have had broader views, put on airs and pretended he was connected with government. Between them all, the poor little rabbit was made to feel himself very insignificant and commonplace. And the only person who was kind to him at all was the skin horse. The skin horse had lived longer in the nursery than any of the others. He was so old that his brown coat was bald in patches and showed the seams underneath, and most of the hairs in his tail had been pulled out to string bead necklaces. He was wise, for he had seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive to boast and swagger, and by and by break their mainsprings and pass away, and he knew that they were only toys and would never turn into anything else. For nursery magic is a very strange and wonderful, and only those playthings that are old and wise and experienced like the skin horse understand all about it. How much of the science and supposed technology that is so near AI, genetic engineering, is just a toy that will break its springs and pass away. And what will remain is what has always remained. Wisdom. Experience. Kindness. For my own practice, I, I have tried, am trying, to base my practice on those things. On those more solid foundations. Because those are real. They are not just toys. They are more real than the springs and buzzing of the latest, most modern toys. I talk a great deal about meaning and spirituality and purpose and identity and free will. And in some ways it startles patience to think that that is not uh, within the scope of a medical practice. But like Patch Adams asked in his, or Robin Williams playing Patch Adams perhaps, when did a doctor become more than a trusted and learned friend? Mm -hmm.